Hey everyone, it's Rotson, and this is take three of this episode because I keep screwing up today. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, yeah, first I missed, I missed, uh, I forgot the right moon phase, then I forgot to buy stuff. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with me today. Anyway, outside of town there is some enemies. Let's see, goblins, domovoys, sword rats, gatling hogs, bombs, gray bombs, cockatrices, zoos, and gargoyles. Just attack them all, except for zoos. Use a tier 2 spell on them. No big deal. Let's go ahead and get this potion. We'll go ahead and loot the town first. Well, for the most part. I mean, I've looted this town so many times now that I have it pretty much memorized here. Uh, we want to go into the... <laughs> into the... Uh, water here. Arctic wind should be a spider silk. There we go. Okay, now that we've gotten that, let's see. Well, there's something amusing I can show you over here. Yeah, authorized personnel only. Door won't open, but you, or the door is open. But you can't get these chests. If there is a way to get these chests, do let me know. But as far as I know, there is no way to get them. Yeah, you just get kicked out. There is a chest here. Well, three of them, actually. Yeah, they sure did. Actually, she has gotten prettier as she's gotten older. I, why? Why is that a thing? Like, why? Like, oh, I was moving as I talked to the NPC, so the dialogue advanced. Like, stop. I don't even know why that is a thing. Like, I don't think any other game works like that. Well, there probably is something, but it's, it's bad. Like, it's horrible game design. Don't do that. Because you're always going to be moving, so you're just going to advance dialogue when that happens. Constantly. I really should... I should look to see if there is a way to turn that off, but I don't think there is. Anyway, let's buy some things while I'm thinking about it. All I care to buy is the iron sword. As far as weapons are concerned. It's a better weapon for Theodore. He needs all the help he can get. Let's see here, uh... Um, yeah, okay. We could buy a Thunder Rod, and that's a better weapon for the Black Mage, but I don't think it's worthwhile, because he's going to leave soon. Same with the Wizard's Hat. I don't think it's worthwhile for the Black Mage. going to leave soon, so why bother? I do want to go buy some items, though. Not much, but I want to get about, uh, up to about ten Echo Herbs. Some, I think, Lilith's are in the dungeon that we can get silenced from. I think it's them. Uh, tents, yeah, I definitely need those. Uh, get about 20 of these. Tents are going to be very useful. And spider silks are also going to be very useful. Speaking of spider silks, let's go ahead and put them at the top of my inventory. Oh, something to note about rearranging your inventory. The game will auto-sort it every single time you rest at an inn. I think it's an inn. Okay, I guess I shouldn't have done that then. Um, yeah, there's a couple, there's a few more chests. I think it's an N. Also, every time you reload, it will definitely auto-sort, so that's something to keep in mind. It's a pain in the butt. I don't know why they decided that was a good idea, but it really screws up my item list. Especially since I really do want spider silks pretty much at the top of my inventory, uh, at most times, because I'm going to be using them a lot. Anyway, there's those three chests there. Let's go out here, and then let's go in there. Better take my fingers off the d-pad wouldn't want to advance the dialogue on accident God, that's so annoying whatever but it's theodore i mean why can't we just go in that's that's not good don't you recognize him it, it's cecil's kid soon he will pay your salary
Yeah, they were pretty strange. Well, I guess we can go back to the ancient waterway. Guess we gotta find whoever has the key. I like how the mages are just still with us for no reason. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and change the moon phase back to a full moon. It is a full moon right now, but every 30 minutes of game time, the moon phase will move to the next phase. So I want to reset that timer, so I'm going to have to rest. I think it's four times. I don't know. However many times it takes to reset to a full moon, I think it's four. So I'll do that and be right back. All right, we're good. Moon is full. Let's go ahead and uh, go in here. I'll just show you where to go. Hey, can I talk to you? There you go. Yeah, mid. It's a reference to mid and FF5. Apparently, Sid's daughter got married. I don't know why they just don't name Sid's daughter. I don't know why she's Sid's daughter and, you know, Sid's son-in-law. Like, give them names. It's just kind of silly that they don't have names. It helps. Like, it really does. Like, I care more about Yang's wife, Stella, because she has a name. She, she you know... It feels like she's a living person in this world, whereas this is just like, oh, you're Sid's daughter? Okay, sure, I guess you are. You don't have a name, but sure. I don't know, it matters to me. It's a minor thing, but, you know, n name your NPC NPCs. It, it helps. It does. It makes the world feel more alive. At least I think it does. Anyway, you want to... Oh, no, I didn't... I meant to go right. Whoops. There's a secret passage to the right. I hit up on accident. 2,000 gil. There you go. You could get that money here if you wanted to. And then go back out and buy some more stuff. If you were short on money. So now we're going to go to a fork. And then we're going to go south. Can I not fight Giga Skaters? Oh, God. Yeah, this happened to be the last time. Like, I was going through here. And every single fight was against a Giga Skater. And it was so weird. Anyway, uh, the electric fish are not weak to lightning, sadly, so don't use lightning on them. Gigaskaters are weak to ice, so we're gonna take care of that. Oh wow. Now we want Theodore and uh, Hooded Man to take care of the other two. Hooded Man can sometimes one-shot them, but not always. Maybe if it wasn't a, a full moon, but I think black magic is pretty good. Mainly I want it for, like, you know, multi-targeting Thundaras, but... Yeah, we'll use that. There we go. Go south here. Three chests. Unicorn horn. Ah, oh, Lilis. Okay. We want to use, I think... Where are they? Fyra? Yeah, okay. Oh, uh... Normally, I want Theodore to uh, switch rows, but, well, here it doesn't matter because I'm only going to have Black Mage attack. I hate this battle because I have to use two Fyra spells. Because I don't think a Fyra all will kill them both. And I don't want to get trigger a counterattack. They can silence you. It's annoying. I don't like it. So, yeah, a couple Fyras get the job done. Oh, wow, I just want a silver apple randomly. That's a very rare drop. I'll save that for way later. Here, let's head north. Should be straightforward from here to the next floor. Yeah, I just kept running into the, the battle against two Giga Skaters over and over and over again. It was really annoying. Okay, this one is pretty simple. We're going to just use a Thundara All. Uh, let's see. Let's do that. Thundara all. Oh, my items didn't reset. Okay, I guess it's only when you reload. Or use a certain other recovery thing way later in the game. It also resets it. Wow, Cecil. Not Cecil. Theodore and Hooded Man didn't uh, take him out, huh? Oh, by the way, if I call Theodore Cecil. Okay, no, 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 no. Nope, we are not fighting this enemy again. 
I do not want to waste that much MP. I do need to be somewhat cautious here. Once is enough for the Liliths. They're just... They're annoying. I mean, I have Echo Herbs. But still. Oh, well. I talked over it, so I guess now I gotta fight them on screen. I was gonna edit it out, but then I talked over it. Oh, well. Come on. Get your turn. The nice thing about Theodore's Tale is that we do get access to these black, ma to these black and white mages, and... Yeah, it's basic, but it does add some more variety to the tale. There's quite a few tales where we just basically get nothing but our basic attacks, and kind of boring. I mean, not always, but, you know. Should be a high potion? Yes. Oh, we got a new enemy. Splasher is their weak to lightning. Yeah, this guy uses Tsunami. We're going to go ahead and use Thundara all here. You could use Thundara 1 on uh, single targeting on the um, Floodworm, which would one-shot it. It's also weak to lightning, but a Thundara all is not going to cut it with three or four enemies. But I want to hold off and wait until... Yeah, okay, there we go. That's going to kill the fish, and then Hooded Man will kill the Floodworm. Simple enough. I might want to use an ether. Yeah. I'm actually pretty low. I'm, I don't normally go through my MP this fast. Not really sure why that happened. Yeah, I'm going to have to use an ether. That kind of sucks. I don't think he has Osmos. I need to use Thundara all here. It's okay. I'm not going to run out of ethers. It's fine. It's just unusual that I have to use an ether here. But if you have to use one, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Yeah, let's just use it now. Kind of annoying, but whatever. There's an enemy here, so that's why I wanted to use it. I think I just learned to cure off screen. Yeah, I did. Here we go. Let's get this going. Fight this guy. This guy's weak to ice. Okay, we want Hooded Man to attack. He'll counter with Stone Gaze, which is annoying, but it's only gradual petrification. Have Theodore use the Spider Soak. And then Blizzara. That's the way to go. I might be here all. I would not have Theodore attack. You know what? Let's awaken. I wasn't planning to do that, but... Might actually make it worthwhile to have Theodore attack, then. Just thinking here logically. Wasn't planning on it. Let's see how much he does. Unless he dies here, which is possible. Here. How much do you do, Theodore? Nah, not worth it. <laughs> I was hoping it would do, like, about the same as Hooded Man, but it did not. Did I get him? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that guy's pretty tough. Let me get a Coral Sword out of it, so I want to equip that on... Oh, yeah. Whenever you use Awaken, it uh, really screws up your HP in the battle. Coral Sword. It's a Lightning Elemental Sword. It's pretty good. It's very good here, actually. Let's. We want to take a look at his multipliers. Uh, let's see... I think you're going to lose a multiplier, but that's totally fine. I want to get them the same multipliers, if I can. Or at least close. Yeah, three and four. Okay, good. It sucks to lose Hooded Man and Multiplier, but... Theodore is strong enough now that he can actually... Contribute. So now we can go up here... I'd like to show that Coral Sword in action, if I can. Can I get a lightning weak enemy here? Of course not! 
Yeah, this is the one enemy where it's just not good to use the Goro Sword. Yay! That's funny. It's like the game is trolling me. That's really funny, actually. Anyway, just have Theodore do that, or Hooded Man do that. Uh, unfortunately for the Electrofish, you have to go up, drop down to the Iron Sword. You have no choice. I don't know how much it... Actually, is it that much weaker? It might not be. Nah, yeah, it's way weaker. <laughs> yeah, you want to drop down to the Iron Sword. Or just let Hooded Man take care of it. Either way. That kind of sucks. Can I get a better example, please? Because the Coral Sword is very good. Can I can I get a fight with... Because I think the enemies are going to change. I guess not. I guess we don't get to see the Coral Sword in action. Whatever. Oh well. Normally, I get to use it, but yeah, I mean, it just deals a lot of damage to enemies that are... Okay, here we go. This is actually a good example. Yeah, not bad. Those Hydras are weak to... Weak to it. Um, let's do Thundara on you. Yeah, I see it or can actually out-damage Hooded Man with a Lightning Weakness. And there we go. Wow. I guess we can do it again. Here, let's do Blizzara. Let's try it the other way around. We're going to run out of MP, but I'm not going to restore it this time. We're near the save point. Yeah, don't be afraid to use one of those ethers. We're, we're never going to run out of them. As long as you don't know, aren't using them all the time. I mean, otherwise, we're just going to go to use or go be useless. Yeah, either way. I like to use Thundara on the guy in the back, but figured I'd mix it up. Any other enemies that I didn't fight here? Uh, no, I think I got them all. Yeah, I think I fought every enemy here. So that's good. Soma drop, I'll save that for later. Can I get to the save point? be really nice if I could. Okay. Keep going. You're kidding me. No. No, we're one step away. Like, no. No, that's nonsense. Okay. We want to go ahead and tent to a new moon now. Because that'll be useful for the next area. And we're basically done here. Yeah, we've got a little bit more to go in this room, but not much. Oh, by the way, if you hit the touchpad, at least on the PSP version. You can shortcut use a tent, so that's quite nice. There is a chest in here. There's no enemies. We could save, but we're pretty close to the end of the episode anyway. Go ahead and get that silver hourglass. Awesome. And now we just gotta get out of here. Oh, there are Baron Guardsmen. They're the only ones that I didn't get. Uh, they counter. Okay, a couple Hydras. Not worried about them. Let's see, what do you want to do against them? At least I think they're here. Yeah, the counter would stand stand so much, so have the Hooded Man attack them. He can sometimes one-shot them, but otherwise just be prepared to uh, cure the mini status ailment. I think they might also be able to toad you, but Asuna will, you know, cure that. And we have two Asuna users. Oh no, uh, Ciro doesn't have Asuna yet. Well, whatever. We have a remedy of worst case scenario, so not a big deal. Got that bronze hourglass, and we want to go down here and get this thousand gill. And then we want to unequip the mages, because I'll just tell you right now, they're leaving. And they're going to steal our stuff if we don't unequip them, so. Well. I guess a lot of some of the stuff was theirs, but you know, actually, I already unequipped the stuff they did came with by default. I think. I think we replaced all their armor, right? Well, except I think the staff was uh, default for the white mage. So yeah, they're they're done now. What level did they get to? 
They didn't even gain a single level. Oh, they're capped at level 10. Never mind. They don't gain any levels. I thought for sure they were capped at level 20, but I guess here they're capped at level 10. Maybe they did gain... No, I think they just can't gain experience at all. Oh, okay. You could kill them off, but why? If you're doing the solo Theodore challenge, it's a little bit easier here because we have the two party members. Actually, in some ways, the solo Theodore is easier because he gets so much more experience. He's a much higher level. There's pretty much only a couple of times that it's remotely challenging. Namely, if you get hit with, like, sleep or something. Oh, yeah. What are their names? Cecil and Rosa. Oh. You know them or something? Or... Yeah, he's probably heard of them. I mean, they are the king and queen. I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, Cecil apparently won, according to the townspeople, so... I don't know why we just let Theodore go off on his own. I mean, I know why for plot reasons it, it needed to happen, but it's kind of silly. Yes, Black Mage? And White Mage? Right. I mean, yeah, obviously. Yeah, they left the party. It's it's done now. Now I'll just tell you right now where we're supposed to go. Go to the throne room. You could walk around here. There's like nothing else to get. So just go to the throne room. Unless you missed some treasures, I guess. Maybe you could get them now. I don't know. No, oh, well, I guess I was wrong. Never mind. Sorry, I forgot. Oh, oh, no, never mind. Yeah, yeah, you have to you have to walk up to the throne and then try to leave. Or at least you have to walk up into the room a little bit. And then we see uh, Cecil. How'd you kill those monsters, by the way? I mean, last I saw Bob, it was kicking your ass. What, what do you mean by that? Uh, do you know him? Yeah, yeah, that's it. He's just a stray beggar. Hooded man is totally not important. I wouldn't worry about him. Just some guy in a turban. Now, Cecil's kind of a dick now. Eh, whatever. I'm assuming Theodore checked the... Why are you lying, Hooded man? That's weird. I don't know why Theodore didn't check the throne room. Or maybe he did check it and Cecil just never revealed himself. Well, guess the monsters killed everybody. Actually, it probably did, frankly. Except for Cecil, apparently. And those few guards that are guarding the entrance, I guess. Don't worry, we can just walk out the front door. I know that doesn't make much sense, but... We can. Hey, how's it going? All right, see you. Gonna go look for the Enterprise? All right. Oh, hey Cecil. I guess there are soldiers in the castle. Uh, we came in through the waterway. D don't you know about the waterway, dude? Like, you used it. Then we fought a giant turtle. God, Final Fantasy is weird sometimes. Oh, you, you want to kill Hooded Man? You don't like turbans? Man. Uh, my opinion of you has definitely regressed now, Cecil. See ya. Oh, yeah, I guess the soldiers are chasing us. Come on, let's get going. Oh, we're going to go uh, to Miss Cave, huh? 
But before we do that, oh, we learned Cross Slash. It's a band. It it uses the attack command, but we learn it automatically. It's an event band. It's pretty good, actually. It's better than their basic attacks together. But I really only want to use it for uh, boss fights. I do want to do a little bit of purchasing here. Let's see. Uh, you know what? We might want to buy some Zeus's Wraths, actually. I wasn't planning on doing that, but I think getting a couple of them, just because there's there's some lightning weak jellies that we can't kill otherwise. I mean, I think I have a Heaven's Wrath, but I might as well get a Zeus's Wrath just to have. I want to buy up to 20 spider silks, get back up to 20 tents, and the big thing is high potions. 20 of them ought to be enough for my needs. We've already made it a new moon, so there we go. So yeah, next time we'll head over to... Mist and go from there. Oh, that was my practice file. So yeah, this is Ryzen. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.